Well, I guess I better film this in case it accidentally works. Okay, I'm in the middle of a project, and then I got sidetracked because I used one of my, I've been using these for my cleanup baby wipe things. They are some made in China wet wipes. I can't read anything on it except wet tissue. It is refreshingly clean in a wet tissue. <laughs> That is all I can tell you. And I got them at the Fit store, the Japanese dollar store. <laughs> so, there you go. What would an equivalent brand be? I don't know, but I'm thinking the cheapest dollar store handy wipe you can find. Probably not a baby wipe, just a handy wipe. Because if you look at them, they're really, really thin. Just like... It's almost like gossamer. It's really what it feels like. Maybe they are. I don't know. But I accidentally discovered something really cool happens when you hit, hit them with your heat gun. They melt. And um, they do, you know, you get these holes and these like singed areas. And it's really kind of awesome. So, um, yeah, I'm, I want to use some of these for collage pieces in this journaling by fives thing that I'm in the middle of. But these are the same colors that I used for my step one background paints, you know. So it won't show up if I use that. <laughs> so I'm going to try to make some on purpose and see what happens. I've been using these twinkling H2Os that I've got over here. And... I'm just going to squirt them with water. I don't think it would matter what kind of paint you use. Probably something like a watercolor would be better since acrylic paint can sometimes dry hard and, you know, make blobs. But these are the Twinkling H2Os that I'm using. I just wet them down. And now I'm going to, what am I going to do? I don't know. I think I'm going to pour them. Do I want to pour them? No, I want to use my, I'll use my little pipette thing because that makes a bigger mess. <laughs> Let's make as big a mess as possible. I have eight of them stacked here and I'm hoping they bleed. Yes, they do. Start out with some dark colors, some purples, blues, maybe squirt some water, get it to bleed through better. I don't know, making this up as I go. Okay, switch puppets. Give me some greens. And some yellows. I should do that in a totally separate one. Let's move to reds. Or reddish purples. Oh my gosh, I'm making this the exact same color. It's the background. The whole, the whole problem I was trying to avoid, and I'm doing it again. Oh, good grief. I'm a bozo. All right, you know what? That's okay. Um, we'll just switch gears. Let's turn over here, and let's add more light colors to go over our dark background and see what happens. Tell you sometimes I'm just not firing on all cylinders or any cylinder for that matter. Okay, what about what? What would that do? What would it do if I poured it? I wonder if it would lighten these up. I don't know. Let's find out. Oh. It appears to.
Did that actually work? Did something I try actually work? How bizarre is that? I don't know. Let's see. Let's just see. Ooh. How about we do this and share some of that ink or paint or I don't even know what those things are. I guess they're paint, pigment, something. Okay, this might actually be good. Alright, is there anything else I want to add before moving on? Maybe more yellow. Maybe this yellow since I somehow managed to get green all in it. There's a muddy mess in there. What is that? What did that happen? Alright. Now, let's see. I'm gonna heat these up to make those, you know, holes in them. I'm gonna cook them. And then, hopefully, they will be of a color that might work with my project. It's going to take forever to dry on that wet thing. There. <laughs> no, they're not doing anything. <laughs> okay, there we go. Good, we got it. You are going to want a hot heat gun for this. I don't know, your hair dryer might work. I'm not sure. I'm not really sure about anything here because, like I said, I'm just now making it up as I go, so experiment on your own and then just let me know what you find out, especially if you find other brands that work, and let me know if your particular heat tool got hot enough, and then, you know, I can share that information with others. maybe don't have access to Chinese wet wipes. Alright. Well, it's still a little dark, but not too bad. Okay, I wonder what would happen if I did this. Okay. That answers that question, because it's basically nothing. I just thought for sure, maybe if I had a bigger brush. Let's try this one. And let's try some yellow. So you can color before and after. Alright, what else do I want on there? I like that. Maybe this green. I can't remember what my <laughs> what my background looks like now. They're outside drying. Oh, that's nice. I don't know how well you can see that, but you just have to trust me. That is nice. I'm gonna I'm not gonna heat it to dry because it will just completely disappear. I'm gonna set it aside and do the rest of these and then when I get done I'll show you how they all ended up. Okay here's what I just learned. So I put these you know got paint on these and then I hung them outside to dry thinking you know it would wouldn't take any time at all to hit them with the heat gun and 
get this effect after they're dry. Can you see that? There. You know, it would be a lot quicker than while they're wet. <laughs> that doesn't really work <laughs> when they're dry. This is what happens. It just kept getting smaller and smaller. And it wasn't getting these cool holes like that one. <laughs> so apparently, they need to be wet. At least a little bit. That's what I'm thinking. Okay, so try this again right quick. I'm going to put a little water on it so that it doesn't disappear like that other one. And let's see if that's what it takes. You see, it's already acting different. Yeah, okay. So they have to be wet. At least a little bit. I'm telling you, that thing just went really fast. It's not the look I was going for. There we go. And you can see I'm kind of moving my heat gun in and out. Just kind of... Uh, controlling the heat to get this nice holy pattern here. Okay. Right there. Now, there we go. What did I do to that other one? I put some some green and some Okay, I'll do that at the end. Let me go ahead and shrink the rest of these. I uh, just wanted to give you that little warning in case you tried to do this and ended up with this and you're wondering where you went wrong. They have to be damp to get the little holes. So, onward now. I'll be back. Okay, whoopsie, forgot to turn the camera back on. <laughs> I am just adding some color like I did on that first one. I added a little bit of yellow, some kind of lime green, and now I'm going in with a little pink, kind of fuchsia hot pink. And then I will let these dry. They are so delicate, I don't think I can hang them outside. I'm afraid they're just going to fall apart. So I'm just going to let them lay out here and dry. And then when they're done, I can use them for some collage bits, for texture. This one was a different color than the other ones, uh, but I was one short because of <laughs> that one. So I'm trying to make it work. It'll, it'll work. All right. Uh, yep, that's it. Gonna let these dry and then I will show you the finished product and I'll be back. Okay, look at all of this fabulous accidental yumminess. Is this not just so fun? Look at these. I'm just loving the way these came out. Um, I am going to use them on this um, journaling by fives that I'm doing right now. I've debated about the best way to attach them. I mean, really, to maintain the texture, I would have to use something like a spray adhesive. But then, you know, it's if you spray the spray adhesive on here, you get the little stringies, you know, and, it, and plus this is so thin, it's going to soak through. It, it's just not going to work. I don't think it's going to work. And of course, spraying it onto the background, you, you get the sticky through the holes. So I'm not sure that spray adhesive is the way to go. And everything else is going to compromise my texture a little bit. But that's okay. We'll just see how it, we'll see how it works. I think I'm just going to use some Mod Podge. Not a whole lot, just enough to get it to stick and uh, go from there. Okay, FYI, that's um, that's just a little project that you two can do if you can uh, find you some 
weird Chinese handy wipes. <laughs> and you know what? I had some. These are my usual. This is the usual kind of handy wipe that I use. You know, like I said, I don't use baby wipes. I like these because they have alcohol in them. And um, they're my favorites. They don't work. I tried heating it with the heat gun and it just sat there very unimpressed and didn't do anything. <laughs> so yeah, let me know if you try it with your brand and it works um, because I'm, I'm thinking there should be other brands that, that will do this, surely, you would think, I don't know. So let me know and um, that is all I have for this uh, mad scientist experiment. Okay? Okay. The end.